Good morning. I look like an egg. Wow. Uh, it is Wednesday and today is probably going to be a pretty busy day so I thought I would bring you along with me. But first thing, it is currently 8am. I should have left 10 minutes ago but I still need to eat and brush my teeth so that's a problem. I'm heading into... I don't have class today. Kind of. That's confusing. I'll explain later but um... I'm heading in to hopefully have some meetings with two people um, but I haven't heard back from either of them but I'm just need to get this done as soon as possible so I'm heading in hoping that they will email me with yeah that's fine <laughs> in the meantime I just did really simple makeup for today I'm wearing this sweater and paper bag skirt I'm gonna wear my heels boots and a black hair bow let's get this day started okay good morning I forgot my camera so that's cool. I am driving to work, not to work, to college right now, but you know, I think you can probably see I'm driving really, really slowly um, because lots and lots of traffic. Oh, it's everyone trying to get into that Northern Trust building. Okay, so yes, I'm trying to, I have still got no email replies for uh, either person I'm trying to meet up with today which is kind of annoying but whatever and I just drove here for like an hour um so yeah I don't actually have class today I think I said that I could this is like the orientation week this college does something stupid where you can like test out all the classes in the first week and then confirm your registration in case you want to like switch which I I like I get in some ways but um it's also really annoying. So I've already confirmed mine because I just know from the titles of the classes what I would want to do and what I don't, like what I really don't. Um, so there is a class on today that I could go and sit in and like be like, oh, do I want to go to this class? But I, I know I don't want to go to that class, so I'm not gonna do that. It's at like 3 p.m. I think. No thanks. So uh, yeah, I I'm gonna try and meet either of these lecturers. One of them, their office hours end at 10 a.m. It's currently 9.06. So, and she doesn't have any more until Monday. Today's Wednesday. So I need to hopefully see her because she has, she graded my research proposal. So I really do. I just didn't honestly feel like driving in to college for an hour, like wasting the petrol over break to go and get the grade back. I got the actual grade, I just didn't get the um, like feedback, feedback. So I'm gonna do that and um, maybe see if some of my friends are around for tea. But other than that, then I'm probably just gonna head home to Inish and get some stuff done there. just at Yana's house but I'm heading back to the car now um, I was able to meet with one of the lecturers the one who might be my thesis advisor it's all very confusing right now but I still don't have feedback on my research proposal just masters things but I'm heading back to the car now it's like almost midday or is it after midday uh, and I'm gonna get me some lunch and just have a time driving home okay so yeah I was able to meet with one of the people so like not the first person but the second person basically I need feedback on the research proposal that I've already submitted but I haven't gotten any like really specific feedback on that but I did get a grade which was fine but like it's like good grade with room for approval kind of thing so I need to meet with that person but she it was her office hours she wasn't there for like a whole hour of them so that was kind of annoying I emailed her yesterday as well but then the other one was someone who I thought would be my thesis supervisor but like might not be I needed to meet with him anyways blah 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 sorry I just see a text from my mom I really want to make banoffee pie so I'm probably gonna do that I just have such a craving for banoffee pie right now so my my mom just texted me saying that she'll pick up this stuff yes so good thing is I don't need to majorly change my research question I don't need to change my research question at all I need to figure out if my case studies are the ones that I've this is all academic stuff I'm so sorry if this is boring for you I need to figure out if my case studies are the right cases I should be using but if not, that's not the worst 
thing ever. Um, I can change them. I'm gonna drive home now. Hopefully it'll take me a lot less time. There'll be less crazy people out driving. It was insane this morning. I was so pissed off. Anyways, driving home. And then I will get into more creative things, you know? I'll do my nice creative stuff. Home again. You know you're home when you put on your Ugg boots. My hair is looking really like scraggly. It's not cute. But I'm gonna make myself some avocado toast because I actually have an avocado, which is very unusual. But I'm just, I think I'm my sweet girl. No? Okay, not feeling it right now. There she is, my sweet girl. It turned out uh, looking adorable uh, until I cut it. But you know, that's you win some, you lose some. So I forgot to show me making the banoffee. It's done now. I'm just gonna refrigerate it, but it's not exactly a confusing process. Um, but I know it doesn't really exist in other countries. It's a like biscuit base with caramel, bananas, whipped cream. And usually I uh, grated chocolate on top, but I didn't have that, so I just put extra crumbs to make it look cuter. And I'm gonna go eat it now because it's what I'm wanting all day. It is significantly later. I have my, what I call like one of my colonial hairstyles. My hair just sits in a little bun up here. Um, there's nothing holding it there. Oh my god, I look so greasy because the fire um, is melting my makeup. But I am just finishing off. I like have the tiniest bit left before I finish this. Well, at least the green. And then I have to work on the white for this little door hanging kind of thing. Um, Lexington Avenue one that I... Did, well, it's like based on the street sign, but I like, designed the canvas myself. Um, and... I have been designing two other things in the meantime, which is like, I've seen that something, it's like, I can't, it's something I can't record. What was that sentence? It's something that I can't really record because I'm just like sitting there like thinking. I have YouTube on in the background and I'm like drawing. So um, the people who they're for don't watch my videos, so, but um, I, I'm working on another street sign and which is going to be probably a little more complicated because I'm going to do it really small so it's properly an ornament and then I'm going to be doing the outside of someone else's house so um, I'm just trying to figure that out right now but I really just have a desire to design a lot more needlepoint kind of things because i embroidered a lot when i was younger so it's like something i'm quite familiar with it's just kind of trying to obtain the materials and then trying to get materials to practice at a reasonable price is kind of a thing but um yeah i'm working on that i'm really hoping that i can make some sort of like more when i started youtube i always wanted to just do like craft and diy content and i ended up like never doing it i've done a couple of things but never anything worthwhile so harsh to say um so i'm trying to figure out how to maybe integrate some needlepoint stuff in how that's gonna work um but yeah i would love like a dream would be to like design canvases and paint them but that's a pipe dream i look so like i'm not this greasy in real life it's like the glare from the fire but um yeah i've also decided that i'm gonna go into college tomorrow which i like super don't want to do but uh, I'm gonna go and go to the class. I was suggested to go to a class. I think I probably mentioned this earlier. There's a class I want to go to. I'm already registered for it. There's a class I don't want to go to, but I've been suggested by someone to go to that class, like the person who runs my course, and I've already registered for my classes, but I'm going to go and sit into that class anyways, just so I can say I went, I saw it, but I kinda know I'm not gonna take it. So that's annoying to have to drive in for that and whatever. Uh, but you know, to be like that sometimes. So I am just going to finish out this tiny, you can see that tiny little chunk of green and then I'm gonna get into the white of this and then I'm probably just gonna leave it to press because it's gonna be into like a little door hanging and I think I'm gonna put green velvet on the back, but that'll be maybe its whole own video at another point. Good freaking morning. Uh, except it's not really morning anymore. It's the afternoon. Uh, I finally just finished getting ready. Ayo. Um, I have a cute pearl hair clip in today. But I'm just going to, getting socks right now, go early before I get to, I'm going to eat first. 
And then, as I think I said yesterday, I'm going to go early for class, of class at 3 p.m. And I'm going to go to, like, fabric craft kind of... I, my makeup looks really intense in this light. Um, store that's nearby to see if they have the supplies I need for some of the projects that I'm working on or currently designing because that would be so helpful if I could just get stuff from there and not have to order stuff online just much better so we're gonna go there and then we're gonna go to class hopefully class is gonna be like short um but I have no control over that and I've said this already I'm gonna take this class so I can say that I went and I saw it and whatever but I really frankly have no intention of taking it I'm just about to leave now it's like a little bit after one but I thought I would show you a little OOTD said I was gonna wear this pink coat which is from new look I think um I got it a little while ago and then I just have like a white boyfriend shirt on underneath uh, I was gonna tuck it in but these are the Madewell jeans I always give out shit about because um, the fly like exposes itself super easily very poor quality it's annoying so I'm just kind of letting the shirt I just kind of flick it under I might tuck it in we'll see uh, so I have those black jeans there's my diffuser in the background and my Vea sneakers and then I obviously have have my usual stack of bracelets uh, Daniel Wanting watch Daniel Wellington watch, um, Kate Spade bangle, and then just some regular pearl bracelets, and then the same necklaces. And I said, I'm wearing tiny earrings, which is unusual for me, but we're just trying to keep stuff away from this because it's healing because of that whole bloodbath. And I have this clip, natural hair, what's new? So yeah, it's time to head into Limerick and hopefully I can find the supplies that I need. It would be so good if I can. But there is another like, fabric and craft shop that I could try and go to. But it's in the city. We're not going today. See you later, puppy. Bye. There's something so wrong about pausing. Truth hurts like midway through. But uh, I'm at home focus at Ickies. Um, and I'm going to see if they have the stuff that I need. Like, I highly doubt they do but I'll be so excited. Uh, it's like 10 past two now. It took me a little longer to drive here than I anticipated, but uh, I've class at three. I've no idea where, today, where it is, so um, there's that. But I will bring you in with me, and I really sincerely hope they have more than just upholstery fabrics. So actually, I should tell you what I'm looking for. I'm looking for needlepoint canvas slash cross-stitch fabric which is like Ada fabric. Embroidery thread if there's anything interesting. Needlepoint yarn, why are my windshield wipers on? That's because it's raining. Um, needlepoint yarn of any type, anything that can be used, can be used for that. Uh, if there's any good deals on tapestry needles and needlepoint frame, so, or a tapestry frame. It kind of depends on what side of the Atlantic you are. What where do you use for that? I doubt they have any of them, but we're gonna try all the same. Well, that was a top-notch fail. Uh, they had nothing. I took a little clip of like some of the wool, I think, or some of the knitting needles. Uh, they had like a mediocre selection of a mediocre brand of embroidery thread. Like, no offense, Hickeys. Well, this is home focus at Hickeys. That's the point. I could go to the other one in the city another time. Depending on what time I get out of class, maybe I will. I don't know. Um, I won't, I don't feel so good, but. It's annoying, but there's also a place in Sligo here who has like loads of really, really great, like they have a DMC yarn, they have like really good canvas, they have it all. So I think I'm just gonna order from them and see how that goes. Um, I'm in no major rush for any of the projects and they're gonna be a lot smaller than the ones I've already done. So it's not a big deal, but I just, I want to figure out where I can get my supplies from as a standard especially canvas and like price canvas and no just to know so now we're gonna go to class i need to figure out where the class is i figure out need to figure out when i'm gonna park i have really bad cramps so i really think i'm gonna pay for parking yeah i think i'm gonna pay for parking and it's like expensive but i don't see myself being able to walk that far because it's cold so 
at my crumbs are that bad. And I have no pink colors, so. That's fun. Love that for me. Let's go to some comparative politics class. Yes. We love it. That escalated quickly. Um, let's see if I can put you up here. Okay, if I scooch down, we're good. Um, yeah, so, <clears throat> my voice. Um, I was like, as I drove over to college just before, whereas you just saw me, I was leaving. Icky's Fabrics, I know, terrible name. Um, I was like, oh yeah, I have really bad cramps. Uh, that escalated really quickly and then I was gonna get when I was getting out of the car here I almost threw up and we don't feel good at all So I didn't film anything. I just went to class anyways, and it's like not far away I wasn't even really walking and um, I parked here on purpose because I do not feel good as suspected I really don't want to take that class. I feel like maybe I should take that class, but I really don't want to take that class It's confusing um but we are gonna drive home now and i'm just gonna try not to stress so much about it i have another class at 9 a.m tomorrow um i think i'll just continue this vlog until the end of tomorrow um or tomorrow afternoon so yeah i feel really really sick i really want to throw up i'm not actually gonna throw up but i just want to take go home take some painkillers drink tea feel better you know, that's life. And maybe work on some needlepoint. I feel like there was something I wanted to watch on TV, like watch a lot of, but I can't remember what it is now. I wanted to just like kind of binge watch something and I can't remember what it is, so. That's cool. Yeah, I'm just like straight up not in the mood for school right now. It's kind of the problem, I'm just like not in the mood. I'll be fine, probably start it next week, like when I actually get into the swing of things, but. Uh-uh. Not feeling it. So, anyways, let's drive home. Hello. How are you? Hi. I'm home. Hi. What a sweet girl. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Hi. Did you miss me? Yeah. I really need to take off my makeup because I was looking kind of like gross earlier so I put on highlighter and now mm, the rest of my makeup is melted so it's everywhere but uh, I'm just sitting on the couch obviously in comfy clothes trying to finish this stupid stupid project not a stupid project it's a cute project I just want it to be done so I can start working on other projects I'm watching hometown while doing it if you don't watch hometown you should it's like one of my favorite TV shows I do love a good home renovation show but this just hits the spot and it is just the best. So definitely recommend. Probably just gonna do this for a couple of hours and try not to fret about class selection, etc. So I'm just gonna honestly stitch and stitch and stitch as much as I can. And if I get sick of that, I'm just gonna start working on planning other projects and probably order supplies from that place I talked about online. Um, because I really just want to get moving on quite a few other projects. You. Oh, How hi! Is this? Is that like, you pretty girl. It's amazing. I love it. This is done. Well, I just Happy Friday. Um, it's like 7.45 right now. Uh, but I'm going to leave soon. I thought I would film this clip inside because it's pitch, pitch black outside. I am headed to a global justice class that I'm pretty certain I'm going to take, but ever, as I said, everything with that is really confusing. Honestly, I'm probably going to end up leaving classes how they are, but um, this is a class I do want to take. I'm just doing Sparkle's morning routine right now. There she is. Hi. She's a very specific morning routine because she's quite a fussy dog. Um, but once we get that done, then uh, we can hit the road. Tired. Not super tired this morning, but mm -mm. no, no. What's up? Must tend to fussy dog. I got to campus so much earlier than, it, well, not so much earlier than anticipated, but yes, a lot earlier than anticipated. Uh, it's daylight, kind of. It's kind of how daylight it gets most days now. I don't know why. I just really don't want to go to class or do anything school wise the last like week, but I just have to get over it. So um, 
after that I think I'm gonna make a stop at there's like a big um, boots like a big pharmacy drugstore kind of place if you will because I'm looking for something specific and then I'm just gonna head home because Sparkles was pretty upset when I left her this morning she didn't really understand what was going on yeah I feel kind of bad for her and I'm gonna get back to her as soon as possible and also I might start one of my new projects oh my gosh because I finished um my Lexington Avenue sign last night so obviously I still need to make it into like a little door hanging thing but I need to get more supplies for that so I'm almost trying to find where I can put my freaking camera okay we're just gonna hold it I am back from class now but I'm sitting in the exact same spot because I'm in my car um I'm gonna put this up here I don't care if people see me because I just got back from so I went to global justice class it was as expected I know I'm gonna love it I want to get a good grade in a class and I think I'm gonna take that class. Hopefully I can do well in it. Um, I'm just gonna go with my gut and take it. As I said, I'm gonna to go to Boots now, but I got out of that class super, super early. Like it, we only took like 20 minutes to do an introduction and then we just, she was like, okay, that's it for today. Uh, but I went to, I'm gonna keep this down here because there's people parking and I'm a distraction. I went to the person who graded my research proposal I went to her office and I was, I'm going to be really frank, she's not going to see this. I was very nervous to meet with her, um, but I knew that I got a pretty good grade. Like I was confident with my grades, so it was fine. Uh, turns out I'm very close to the highest grade she gave. And she was like, I I'm so like, I'm like, oh, congratulations to me. Uh, because she was like, yeah, you're perfectly competent. And she gave me lots of compliments and she just helped a lot with putting me in the right direction. Um, like she was really good with giving me more direction. And I was very nervous for this meeting, but I'm so glad I went because it's like happy Friday to me. Um, she was like, yeah, this is really good. Like, honestly, it's really good. And I was like, oh, okay. She was like, no, this is like a two one. Like this is a two one proposal. So, uh, and that's your first draft. Like if this is it. And I was like, I feel much better now. So obviously I have lots of things to work on. It's just like research proposal. Um, and it was for an assignment, but it's, if you're curious what my dissertation is going to be on, it is an investigation into the relationship between improvements in water, sanitation and hygiene and maternal mortality. So I did a case study of Thailand and Indonesia for that, but I'm obviously for a good comparative study good research it's going to need to be pretty different so that's what we were talking about but it was a really good meeting i'm really like yay me Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. um I'm, I'm embarrassing myself and others right now but it's just sometimes it's good to be validated you know academically that's one thing i struggle with i'm like mm. I frankly don't care, not that I don't care about my grades, I do care about my grades, but I don't like, I don't take things to heart. So even though I'm so excited about this, it is quite like superficial, really. But um, still, it's it's nice to, to know that you're doing okay, you know what I mean? Because a lot of the time I do feel out of my depth here. And I'm not sure if doing a master's was the right decision, but when you get days like today, it's, it's nice. So my phone just buzzed because my friend just texted me because I told her what this person told me and I'm gonna go to Boots and then go home to my sweet dog. Home again and really pissed off. Pissed because pissed. My dog, my dog peed on the floor, on the carpet, upstairs. Obviously because she was afraid but whatever. So and it smells rank. So I'm just trying to deal with that at the minute but my room is such a mess. But I thought I would show you, oh, where are my shoes? What I was wearing today because it was so dark this morning and sorry if you can hear the wind, the windows are open for obvious reasons. Please ignore any of the mess you will see in the background. So I'm wearing this little kind of like mock neck almost, cashmere, beigey, camel, we'll call it camel sweater, necklaces, regular earrings, whatever. Then this skirt is from New Look. It's not too old. Um, it looks very dark in this lighting, but if you can see it has like golden-y camel bits. So the thing is with this skirt is that it's actually super big. It would be better if I could like, my whole outfit could be more fitted so then it was like more flattering, but you know, 
whatever. I just have all this like extra fabric going on. Uh, and then I'm wearing black tights, feet my diffuser, and these shoes, which are like little loafery things from ASOS from a little while ago. And then natural hair as always. Just came back from bringing sparkles for a walk. I'll insert the clip I filmed of her when I like when she figured out we were going for a walk because she loves walks. She goes crazy. Do you go for walkies? Yeah. Yeah. Don't do that. That's my backpack. Come on. What's over here? Can you open the basket? This? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's walkie time. But I'm back. A little while now actually I've just been working more on trying to clean the carpet but it's all good now so now I need to do all of my clothing I hope you enjoyed that speed clean. Now I can actually work on some fun crafty projects. I saw this thing on, was it Facebook or Instagram? And it was showing like what famous people, like this new McDonald's advertising campaign or something. It's like what famous people order. And everybody was like shook that Kim Kardashian dipped her nuggets in uh, honey. But I've heard other people do that. Like on YouTube, Hayley Pham. Um, I used to watch her videos when she did like dance videos back in the day um, But I remember her always talking about dipping nuggets in honey and I was like I'm gonna give it a try. So I'm gonna do that. They're vegan nuggets. However, but does it make a huge difference? No, if you haven't tried the, tried the corn They're like these are the vegan ones. They look different, but the regular just like no meat ones like the veggie ones They're incredible incredible so you should try those um yeah please enjoy how my hair goes into like little tubes instead of curls it's not cute but i thought i would end off this vlog here uh, i'm sorry it was like kind of boring and kind of confusing and basically just like clips of me talking with scraggly hair in my car but uh or my house because that's all that's there in college it's really all i've been doing uh but i hope you enjoyed all the same if you made it this far I am content planning as well today, woohoo, um, because there's some videos I've been working on for like a long ass time, but it just kind of, I had to bring up some emotions I didn't want to bring up in order to do them because it's about my J1 visa experience. Uh, I was on a one year graduate visa, that's when I was in New York. Uh, great time, but terrible time in regards to like visa stuff. So I'm going to be talking about that and such but i have a blog post on that i'll actually link it down below i'll just have my blog link down below um but yeah i'm doing that i have some style posts and stuff like that coming up as well so subscribe to see those when they go up follow me on instagram at anime.yt that's where most of the stuff is anyways and i will see you in my next video